Did you know that butterflies taste with their feet and their wings are completely transparent? Their wings are made up of a million tiny little scales and the color we see is really a reflection of light on those tiny scales. Butterflies have been generally known throughout history, different cultures and traditions to represent change, transformation, and hope. For me, the butterfly signifies something a little deeper. It signifies peace and strength. Sometimes life can be so scary, confusing and nerve-wracking and it makes you feel so overwhelmed, like you can't handle things. Moments like these are filled with so much anxiety and fear but I have to remind myself that fear is good and fear helps you grow. I heard a song once, it said, don't quit your daydream, it's not big enough if it doesn't scare the hell out of you and if it makes you nervous then it's probably worth it. The lyrics of this song hits really close to my heart and it made me feel things that I haven't felt in a long time. I felt so exhilarated and I was filled with so much excitement to try new things. I felt like I was being born anew and I had regained my desire to chase my dreams and really pursue what I'm passionate about. Art is my dream and creativity is my life and I want to live that life to the fullest. I don't want to wake up one morning and regret not giving it a try because I was scared. Scared of failing, scared of what people might say. The thing that scares me a lot in my art is the fear of judgment from people in my field because I feel like the way I paint isn't what is common to people. I like to paint in layers so when I start my art it's usually very chaotic and messy and you probably not be able to recognize or even see where I'm going with the piece. It just looks like a mess. <laughs> And I love that freedom, the ability to just paint freely at the start and just be as messy as I feel like, not really being restrained by rules or following guidelines. Working in layers just gives me the sense that I'm building something. And when the piece is done, I get to see what I spent hours, days, weeks, sometimes months building. And knowing that it was constant, corrections, additions, subtractions, layers on layers that formed this thing that I'm looking at. And I fear that others might judge that style of creation. But then again, I think to myself that what's the point of creativity if you have to follow rules? I believe that the point of creativity is the freedom to break rules and, you know, express yourself without constraints. So. It doesn't really matter what people think because in the words of Billie Eilish, everyone's going to die and no one's going to remember you. So fuck it. Moving out of my parents' house to an entirely different state was one of the most scary things I've had to do. But it was a decision I made because I knew that if I stayed at home, with my fears and not wanting to try out things and experiment, I would be limiting myself and I don't want that for myself. And so I moved all the way to Abuja to start this new life that was centered around pursuing an art career and following this dream because what's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is that I will fail, which I won't. 
but the worst that could happen if i stay back home and played it safe was that i would wake up one morning and realize that i completely wasted my life i didn't give this dream a chance i didn't give it a try i didn't give it a shot i just stayed back and did nothing i can't say i'm not terrified because i am freaking terrified <laughs> about my life and the future but yeah it's good so do it scared do it scared when i start to feel extremely overwhelmed and like my mind is congested i like to talk to friends i like to hang out with my friends open up my mind feel the breeze on my skin and appreciate the beauty of life realizing that there's so much more to life than little me and my fears makes me feel like i'm going to be okay in real life <laughs> Always remember to take time out to really care for yourself. You might be surprised at the outcome. So back to my painting. I decided to call this piece destiny because I believe that if something is truly meant for you, no matter how hard you try to run from it, no matter how far you think you can go, no matter how many things you use to distract yourself from it it will still come back to you what you can do is avoid it you can try and avoid it as much as you possibly want to but it will always be there you can pretend not to see it but it is there and this feeling that this is what i was born to do is what I felt when I was creating this piece. And so I decided to call this piece Destiny because it made me feel like I was doing what I was meant to do. I hope you see the beauty in this work and appreciate it as much as I do. Thank you for watching. I hope this video awoke something in you. See you next time. Love, Liz.